Okay, guys, uh, this Algebra 2 lesson is uh, we're just going to apply in transformations. We're going to add uh, a constant to data, and we're going to multiply constants to data. But we have to know how to do um, uh, what we did in the last lesson, section 11.1. Um, so let's go ahead and just review. So given the data, 7, 12, 16, 20, and 20, uh, the mean of that data I've calculated for you is 15. The median is 16. The mode is 20. The range is 13. And the standard deviation is 5. Okay, so what I would like you to do is add 10 to each of that data and then recalculate all of that above. All right, now obviously I've done that already. So, uh, I mean, you can. You can pause it if you want and try it, you guys. But you're probably not going to if I know my teenagers. So um, uh, if you add 10 to all of these, so uh, 12 plus 10, 16 plus 10, oops, 7 plus 10, I added 10 to all these. Okay, so I'm going to recalculate the mean. So I've, uh, the mean is uh, add them all up and divide by 5 again. So, so the mean became 25. The median became 26. The mode became 30. The range is 13. And the standard deviation is 5. Okay, so what I want you to recognize, whoops, I lost a page there, which numbers changed and which numbers stayed the same. So let's take a look. The mean went up by, by 10. Well, that was the same number that we added to each of them. The median went up by 10. The mode went up by 10. The range went up by, whoops, nope, the range didn't go up, and neither did the standard deviation. The range and standard deviation stayed the same. Now, if you were in my class, I would have my arms opened up wide, and they're actually opened up wide right now. And I say, look at my fingertips right here. And I said, imagine that's the range right there. And then if I went ahead and added 10, and then I'd go 10 steps to the right, and I'd still have my hands held out in the same space, the range would still be the same because that's the spread of the numbers. Okay, so the range won't change when I add numbers to it. And same with standard deviation. Standard deviation is a... Is a, um, a uh, it's a range number, so it won't change either. Okay, so uh, which numbers change? The mean, median, and mode it each increased by 10, but the range and standard deviation stayed the same. Okay, so uh, here's a rule. When adding a constant to the data values, then the mean, median, and mode of the new data sets can be obtained just by adding the same constant to those numbers. So whatever the mean is, add that constant. Whatever the median is, add that constant. And same for the mode. But for the range and standard deviation, they stay the same. Okay? So here's a data that gives the weights of five people. 138, 142, 155, 140, 155. Give the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. So I, I would require my students in the class to do this, you guys. But obviously, we don't have time on this video. So the mean is we add up the numbers and divide by 5, so I get 146, okay? The median, I had to rearrange them from smallest to biggest and then find the middle one. The middle one is that one right there, 142. Now, if there was two numbers in the middle, because sometimes there are, you guys, if there's an even number of numbers, there's two numbers in the middle, you have to average those two numbers in the middle. So add them together, divide by 2. Okay, but anyways, the median here is 142. The mode is the one that we see the most, the 155. The range is the big number minus the small number. Okay, and then standard deviation is each number minus the mean, minus this mean right here, squared. Okay, so 138 minus 146, and I did 142 minus 146 squared. 155 minus 146 squared. 140 minus 146 squared. And finally, this one minus the mean squared. Add them all together, divide by 5, and then square root all of that, and our standard deviation is 700, or I'm sorry, 7.46. Okay, all right. So, uh, at the end of the month, each person had lost three pounds. So, calculate the new data. Okay, well, adding a number is the same as subtracting a number. You're just adding negative three to all those numbers. So, do you remember which numbers changed, you guys? Only the mean, the median, and the mode is going to change by minus three. So, I'm going to take off three. The mean will be this number. I'm sorry, 143. Take off three of this one, the, uh, the median will then become 139. Take off three of this one, and it'll be 152. But the range will stay the same, and so will the standard deviation. They'll stay the same. So there you go, right there. 
Okay, so there's the answers. Only the mean, the median, and the mode stayed the same. The, I'm, I mean, changed by negative three, and the other ones, uh, range and standard deviations, uh, stayed the same. Okay, now the uh, the rule on when multiplying your data sets uh, by some constant value, everything gets multiplied: the mean, the median, the mode, and the range, and the standard deviation. It gets uh, multiplied. So. Find the data in, in part of section C of the five people for their starting weights in kilograms. And then notes that one kilogram is approximately equal to uh, 0.45 pounds. So I have to multiply all those numbers by 0.45. And what you can do is you can go through and multiply this times 0.45 to get it in kilograms. This times 0.45 to get it in kilograms. And so on and do that. And then calculate the mean. Add them all up. Or... Check it out. Since I already have this number, just multiply that times 0.45, that times 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, and that's going to get me all the answers right there. So here we go. I just multiplied them all by 0.45, and I get those as the answers right there. Okay, so just recall, when you add a constant, you add the constant to the mean, the median, the mode, but the, not the range or the standard deviation. They stay the same. But when multiplying, everything gets multiplied. Okay, if you are in my class, I would assign that for your homework. Take care.